You're like me, you're a programmer ready to embark on a new project. You sit down at your computer, open your preferred integrated development environment and dive into the world of coding. But wait, there's something nagging at the back of your mind. Are you using the best IDE you could? Does it really matter? Well, let me share a little secret with you. The answer is no. The IDE you pick really does not matter. In today's video, we're going to dive into why not and take a closer look at the concept of programmer efficiency. Many programmers fall into the trap of believing that a specific IDE holds the key to their coding prowess. They're lured by false promises of enhanced productivity, seamless workflows, and the ability to write flawless code. But let me tell you, this is a fallacy, a false notion that holds us back from reaching our true potential. What I'd like to do now is show you some interviews I've conducted with some really excellent programmers at the top of their fields, focusing on the most pressing question of our time. What's more important, your IDE or how you use it? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any in time, so I found some idiots on the street and spoke to them about it instead. And all this helped me shed light on an important truth. The best programmers excel, not because of a specific IDE, but because they have a deep understanding of programming concepts and, importantly, the ability to leverage their chosen IDE to maximize their efficiency. One of the great advantages of most IDEs or text editors is their customization capabilities. You can tailor your IDE to suit your preferences, making it an extension of your coding style. Whether it's custom themes, key bindings or plugins, you have the power to create an environment that fosters your creativity and productivity. You see, it's all about comfort and familiarity. When you're working with an IDE that feels like a natural extension of your coding arm, you enter a state of flow where your mind and fingers dance effortlessly across the keyboard, bringing your ideas to life. Becoming proficient with any IDE takes practice. Just like mastering a musical instrument or a sport, it requires dedication, perseverance, and a willingness to push your boundaries. Don't shy away from exploring the features, shortcuts, and tools your IDE offers. Embrace the learning process and you'll unlock new levels of efficiency and productivity. Remember, the choice of IDE is is not a one-size-fits-all decision. What works for one programmer may not work for another. It's about finding an IDE that resonates with your unique style and allows you to express your creativity fully. And feel free to experiment. I personally use WebStorm at my job and PyCharm for my YouTube videos, but I also use NeoVim from time to time too, when I need to use a language not supported by those IDEs. Just look around you next time you're at a conference or meetup. Successful programmers thrive using a variety of IDEs. Some prefer lightweight text editors, while others opt for full-fledged integrated environments. The common thread among them is their mastery of their chosen tools, regardless of the brand or popularity. Even using Emacs is acceptable. The key takeaway from today's video is this. The IDE you pick truly doesn't matter as long as you're comfortable with it and invest time in mastering its features. The best programmers understand that their skills and proficiency are what truly define their success. So next time you find yourself pondering over which IDE to choose, remember that your journey to become a programming maestro lies within your ability to wield your IDE effectively, regardless of its name or reputation, and then go ahead and pick Vim anyway. If you'd like to know why using an auto formatter will actually make you a better programmer, you can watch this video here.